All right, good. More rounds of rain coming. Some of that North Alabama. This is a live look from Florence Harbor where the rain is uh, actually just passed, but you can see how dark that sky still is there in Florence. The line of thunderstorms that's moved through Florence is now moving into our viewing area, lining up from Sullivan to Hamilton. But this line of thunderstorm extends back into Mississippi, and we're going to be tracking the trailing end of these storms too, because these will sweep across West Alabama within the next couple of hours. So let's kind of take a tour of the radar right now where we're dealing with the strongest storms. We'll start right there. Guin, Bryn, Haleyville, very heavy rainfall in the easternmost part of Marion County, starting to move its way into Winston County. So Double Springs, you are likely going to be dealing with this in about 15 minutes. Carbon Hill, you're, you'll be next. Same with Vernon. The storms are just to your north. Storms are tracking due east right now at about 26 miles per hour. Strongest part of this storm is going to reach natural bridge around 511 time right now is 446 Del Mar at 508 and 507 at Glen Mary down to our south. Boy, this is some very heavy rainfall over Wetumpka. I'm pointing this out, although Wetumpka is out of our CBS 42 viewing area. It's tracking due east. It will clip the southernmost part of Tallapoosa County, potentially even clipping the southernmost part of Lake Martin. So this storm system is traveling at about 30 miles off to the north right now, and we could be getting some small hail out of that particular storm system. I think it moves slightly north of Auburn at this point, but some heavy rainfall still down in Wetumpka. This is a live look from our Barron Critical Weather Institute camera down there where that heavy rain is falling. And as we've talked about with these thunderstorms, these can be isolated batches of heavy rainfall. Aniston today has amassed just about a half of an inch, but overall for the month of May, Aniston is actually seeing a surplus of two inches, but just down the road in Birmingham, we're at a deficit of over two inches, so it truly depends on where these thunderstorms bubble up in the afternoon and who sees heavier rain than others. This is not going to be evenly distributed rainfall amounts. Thunderstorms are likely to continue overnight. Waves of rain. We might get a brief little break shortly after midnight. Here's how the rain's impacting temperatures where it stayed much more dry. We're in the 80s from Coleman, Jasper and Fayette. Even at this hour, 60s from Anniston, Talladega down towards Clanton for tomorrow morning. Low to mid 60s for tomorrow afternoon back in the low 80s, but we are tracking a chance of more scattered showers and storms storms as we head towards midweek. It's going to look a lot like today, just kind of a smattering of those showers and thunderstorms by afternoon, starting mid to late morning Wednesday and continuing through late day. Rain chances will start to taper Friday. Drier air moves in. It'll be more pleasant as we round out the week, but more sun shines back by the end of the weekend into Monday and Tuesday. And that's your seven day forecast.